So these are the this is the any percent tutorial, and uh, I'm just going to be going through each level and uh, explaining all the all the routes that we use in the fastest runs, and then I'll explain backups for a lot of monkeys. So in Fossil Field, I usually wait in this cutscene because if you didn't see see the first monkey that's right off to the left of the screen. Uh, it gives that monkey slightly better positioning on average to wait in the cutscene. And what we're going to do right away here is we're going to immediately turn to the left towards this monkey and we are going to just run towards him and then jump and catch him. So, use L1 to switch the camera. Sometimes he jumps like that. And then what I did right after I caught him was I pressed triangle to switch to the stun club, and that cancels the animation of the net. We do that after pretty much every gadget use because there's no reason not to. It saves a lot of time throughout the run, and it's really easy, so we just do that. Alright, then we're gonna turn around and run towards this monkey. And I would jump and catch him there, but sometimes he jumps away, and it was mainly because I was explaining stuff. So if he jumps away, go over, hit him, and catch him. Now, after we catch that monkey, usually we would catch it right here. We would turn to the left, and then we go right over here. And you can either catch that monkey up here, or he'll jump down there. And then you can just go over here, and you'll catch him right there. Now, there are a few things that this monkey can do. Uh, if we run from this direction, the best thing he can do is he'll just be standing right here, and you catch him right there. Uh, sometimes he's down there. And you, but you can tell that he's going to jump up there, so you can just single jump up here, and then you do a double jump and catch him when he jumps up here. But, but that's Fox Field. Uh, the whole level is pretty much just about reacting to what happens around you. So that's a pretty easy one to start it off with. So after Fossil Field, uh, you'll skip a cutscene and then it'll bring you into this room, which is uh, the main hub of the game. And what you're going to do once you get spawned in this room is just run forward, and then this mailbox text is going to play, and you'll just press start to skip that. And then you just do a single jump to get onto the button. And then when you get in here, you're going to have to time it. But you can either press right and X, or just X to uh, go to the next level. Now when we're in here, we're going to immediately turn a little bit to the left, and then just press L1 to switch the camera. Then we'll run forward, drop into the water, go over here, neutral double over the sign, and then you just go down here. And I went really deep there, but it doesn't really matter. Now to get out of the water there, I did something that a lot of people don't do. I single jumped out of the water, which... I don't know if the game intended you to be able to do that or not. You can also just double jump out of the water, but uh, in order to single jump out of the water, you have to be a certain distance away from it. So, like, if I'm too close, then I'll just hit the wall and, uh, and let you grab. If I'm too far, then I won't make it and I'll let you grab. So, let me just go back down. So, when you neutral double over this fence, you're going to immediately oh, going to immediately hold L3 to dive, and you just dive right there, go up, and then be a little bit to the right, and then just turn to the left at the very top and do that. Now, this next, there's a monkey over here, uh, a fake monkey, but he's going to be off on his cycle. But uh, what we do here, we just turn to the left, go over here, press R3 to shoot. And I had to go a little bit further than usual, because uh, I'm in the wrong place. But when you're catching this monkey, you pretty much just do this, shoot, stop boosting, turn around, and then go back and boost this way. And then you can single jump out of the water there. And this mailbox, there are two things you can do to go around it. Uh, its hitbox stops around here. Maybe a little bit to the left of here. So its hitbox stops around here. So as long as you're to the right of there when you're running around it, you'll be fine. But you can also go back a little bit. You can also just be anywhere and just neutral double jump over it. 
And uh, we usually jump around this black line. And see, I was too far to the left there, but it doesn't really matter. So this is Primordial. So right at the start here, we're going to get that monkey right in front of us. So we're pretty much just going to run uh, slightly to the right, to the peak of that bridge, and then do a small hop, neutral double, uh, which is just the first jump is a small hop, and then you do a neutral double out of that, and uh, catch him like that. So, go like this, then you catch him. Then you switch to the stun club to cancel the animation, then you turn around. Go this way, L1 to center the camera, and then hold up on the D-pad. Single jump there, neutral double there. And then we're going to turn to the right, and a lot of stuff is going to happen here. So we're going to turn L1, still holding up, and then we'll catch that monkey. And then we're going to turn to the right, and actually I'll just And we're going to turn to the right after that, and then we're going to drop right here. So you would catch this monkey, then drop off, and then hold right there. And I'm literally just holding right on the on the analog stick. So let me just real quick cut back to actually doing. And then after you catch him, you're gonna be in the water, and you're gonna turn to the left and start swimming towards this area. And there are lines on this uh, cliff to the right here, and you're gonna use those to kind of guide you to where the monkey is, since you might not be able to see him depending on where the camera goes. And you're just gonna go over here, double jump, and then ground pound. So, let me show a backup for that, just in case you don't get the ground pound, because if you don't get it, the monkey will see you and run away, and you won't be able to catch him there. So, if he sees you and runs away, uh, you'll have to do a slope jump off the wall, which looks like this. If you miss this ground pound if you had this monkey, you're gonna do that, and then you'll just go over here to this wall, and you'll go into it, and see how when I run into the wall, you just push the spike up a little bit? So, you're gonna use that to your advantage, and you can just have it push you up a little bit. Just have it push you up a little bit, and you can just double jump to get up. There are slightly faster ways to do that, as in you can just run up to it and immediately do it. But those are harder, so you can pretty much just... Yeah, just like that, and then you can just catch the monkey there. So, uh, that's it for Primordial. And now we're into Molten Lava. So, Molten Lava has a cycle that you need to make, so I'm just going to demonstrate the first area quite easily. So here you're going to run forward and slightly left to avoid that mailbox. Move the double up there. Move the double over here. And then you single jump over here. And you just jump and catch that guy. Now he can do a lot of things. So you just kind of have to hope that he doesn't jump backwards. Because he can, if he does anything besides jumping backwards or throwing a rock at you and hitting you, usually his rocks miss, but sometimes they hit. Then you're fine. So then you're going to turn around and run out of the cave area. Single jump out of there, single jump to catch there, gadget cancel, turn around, and then jump on this elevator. This is the cycle that you need to make. If you, if you miss this cycle, it's going to cost you around 10 seconds, because you'll have to wait for another cycle, and it takes around 10 seconds for the elevator to get back. So here, I'm just going to wait on this uh, elevator until, the, until I've hit the third one of these little Dorito thingies over here. And then I'm gonna neutral double jump up to the next area. And then you can neutral double up these. Now for this monkey, there's a few things that you can do. Uh, one of them, I'll do the, the faster method first. So, let's go away. so the faster method is to just run up to him and just do that. Now I would have caught him usually. Oh, not do that. So all I'm doing here, I'm going to get away from this pterodactyl so he doesn't destroy me, is I'm just hitting it, and then while keeping the analog extended like this, I'm pressing X so that it instantly switches to the net. So it's just... So you can pretty much just spam that. Now the next method, which I'll use since he's in this egg, is where you jump and you ground pound and switch to the net. So like on this egg, it would look like 
So that's the easier method, but it's also a little bit slower. So it's like... Yeah. And then you turn around, and you go over here, and from these stairs, <coughs> if you have really good neutral double jumps, you can jump from this stair to that ledge. Not like that. <laughs> but yeah. But a lot of people jump from the second stair because it doesn't lose much time. And you can step on this triangle. See how there's a, there's a little seam right here? And if you go past that seam, then you'll start sliding. So. Oh, and you can also... Another way to get a few stairs is uh, you can just uh, do quick hops. So yeah. So we go over here, and then you do a short hop over this, neutral double over here, and then a quick hop over here. Yes. <laughs> so that's molten lava. Uh, not a hard level. Once you once you get fast enough where you can make that elevator cycle pretty easily, that level uh, doesn't isn't really hard anymore, and it's usually pretty consistent.